Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode two of my franchise hockey manager 10 playthrough with the San Jose Sharks. And it's gone about as well as you would have expected. The funny thing, so we started the season two and oh. Uh, before we get into this, obviously, again, episode, and I, I hate doing this stuff, but episode two, leave the video a like, subscribe, leave a comment. First video is doing pretty well. Um, let's see if we can get the second video doing just as well. Anyway, to get that out of the way. So the season actually started off really well. Those of you who watched the first episode knew that we beat uh, Vegas on opening night. We then came back with a 7-1 victory over Colorado. So we were 2-0 and through two games, having outscored our opponents 11-2. to uh, the wheels have fallen off since then. We've gone 5, 12, and 4 uh, since that point. Um, I have a trade that, I'm, that I have lined up, and um, I, I, don't, I think it's the right move because uh, it's for a, a, still a relatively young defenseman, but I'll, I'll show you here in a minute. Look at the stats. Um, so Thomas Hurdle, 7 goals, 13 assists, 20 points in 23 games. Uh, Luke Kunin. Having a decent year for us, the 25-year-old, seven goals, seven assists, 14 points. William Eklund, five goals, eight assists, 13 points, a minus seven. Uh, Riley Walsh has done a nice job. Uh, we picked him up off of waivers. He's hurt right now, but you can see five goals, seven assists, 12 points in 23 games. Hoffman leads the team in goals with eight. Duclair has got 10 points. LeBlanc with 10. Zadina with 10. So, yeah, I mean, a couple of players doing pretty well, but, but I mean, we're as bad as, as we thought we were going to be right? goaltender-wise. Kenzie Blackwood, 2.51 and a um, 913 save percentage. Uh, Kockinen's doing okay, 2.97 and a, and a 910. Um, so that's kind of where we stand. We have the second worst record in the um, uh, in the Western Conference, but ahead of only the Blackhawks. Um, we right now, bottom five. Looks like Florida, Washington, and Chicago are worse than us. We also have Pittsburgh's top pick this year, which is really nice. Um, so, yeah, we got a couple of top picks. Mackenzie Blackwood, in uh, at least on the goaltender rankings. And you can see I changed my resolution. Um, or I figured out how to change my resolution, so things look a little... Uh, look a little better here. Things fit a little bit better. So anyway, trade that I was looking to make. Um, it's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here. Uh, trades. So it was with the Washington Capitals. No, it wasn't. It was with the Florida Panthers. He used to play for both teams. So it was with the Florida Panthers. And I was looking for some defensive help. And I came across... Brandon Montour, he's 29 years old. He's making $3.5 million this season. He's three and a half star. Our, our scout has him at three and a half star. OSA or the, the consensus, whatever that is, has him at two and a half. Really good offensively, really physical, really high mental ratings. Pretty good defensively. Had 73 points a year ago for Florida. He's out right now with injuries, out for... Uh, another one to two months, uh, only making three and a half million dollars this season. Contract expires at the end of this season. Uh, we realistically will be able to resign him come the off season, especially if we move some of these bigger contracts. And they don't want much for him. Well, they want Eklund, but they want Kakinen, Blackwood, or Fabian Zetterlund. And I mean, I don't mind the idea of trading him. Uh, really straight up for Kakinen, but I want to see, like, if I gave you Hoffman instead, I want to see how I can make this work maybe without giving up. Um, wow, so that actually, okay, so Hoffman looks like he has negative value, and that's that's okay. Um, what about, do we have anybody on a long? Yeah, we do. We've got. I was gonna say, do we have anybody on a bad long term deal? And, and the answer to that is yes. The Sharks have some really bad contracts. Um, I mean, there's no way in heck. Yeah, he's a no trade clause that goes to every team. Super. Uh, what about? So LeBlanc's contract expires at the end of the season. He's been really bad. Two goals, eight assists. Um, Barabanov has been good with with the Barracuda. 
I mean, I could just say, here's Kakinen and just be done with it. But then what do I do from a goaltender perspective at that point? Because I don't believe either of my goalies are ready. McAniemi, he's been all right. He's actually been okay. I mean, we could just call up McAniemi. Um, so if I put him there, so they will probably accept that offer. Can I get a draft pick as well? Mackenzie Blackwood, too. Can I get a third next year? All right, so what about a fourth? Well, okay, so that's a well-balanced offer. I think maybe I want to try to get draft capital next season. Ferraro, Eklund. I mean, if I added Giovanni Smith, could I then turn that into a third? Florida has 50 players under contract. All right, so I would need to take back, I don't know, somebody really bad who... I probably should have said make that work now, but let's see how that goes. So we got to set our monthly budgets. I think we're just going to leave everything the way it is. We've got scouting, team morale, and game promotions jacked all up. Um, how is our morale? Harmony's still fantastic. We're harmonious, even though we're bad. So let's sim through the day. So Montour, I bet I could re-sign. And he's only 29, so that might be a nice... Because, I mean, I was thinking about the draft and, and it looks like it's pretty forward heavy at the top as we win seven to four. It's pretty heavy at uh, pretty uh, forward heavy at the top. So I'm thinking if we spend any free agent money on defense in, in, in free agency, that's probably so Montour is the kind of player I would look to sign. Uh, anything interesting here? Development report. Will Smith continues to get better. Yeah. He's looking good. Probably look to bring him in next season as a 19-year-old, maybe. Looks like some decent development from some players. Uh, owner confidence. They're bays satisfied. The team is satisfied. Uh, let's look at the box score. So we win 7-4. to four, So we get three goals in the first. Bolduc, Duclair, and Hurdle. Sturm and Eklund in the second. Ertl and Hoffman in the third. Blackwood gets the start. Let's go ahead and sim a day. I just want to see if this trade goes through. And then I will. So Burroughs is back. So at that once that once we get once that once I'm able to make that trade go through, I probably will sim ahead to when is the trade deadline? March 3rd. So I'm probably gonna sim ahead to what am I going to sim head to? I don't know. Maybe sim head to February, and the next episode will be, uh, um, or maybe we we I don't know what I want to do. We're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna go here for a little bit. We're just gonna go here for a little bit. Twenty two active players on the roster. Uh, Bolduc can get benched, and we will bring in uh, replace with Burrows. Burrows a bit better defensively. Let's see if we get an answer from Florida. I mean, if I can give up Smith and Kokkinen and bring back Brandon Montour, I feel like that's a pretty solid deal. Oh, shoot. Did I? I think I may have actually changed the... Yeah, I... No, tra I, yeah, I changed. I, I dropped trading difficulty from March much harder down to harder. So I want to see how that works. Um, well, I think we put this on much harder. I think I'm just going to leave it on much harder. Let's see what they say. Let's see if it, if if I just am not able to make any deals. Um, we'll see what they say about this Montour deal. Uh, next day. So we got a game today at one of the New Yorks and then on the fifth at the other New York. This is a four, two loss to the Rangers. I, 
I had somebody in my Discord mention that they were surprised that I waved Barra Bon off. Uh, we'll see how Jim Montgomery under fire, really? Come on. The reigning coach of the year. Give me a break. Um, Alex Stalock. No, all right, let's sim ahead another day. Let's see if we get an answer. Kyler Yamamoto is on waivers. One goal in 21 games. He He's only making 1.5 this year. The thing is, if I claim him, I can't do anything with him, so he's just sort of stuck with me. Uh, Alexander Texier. Yeah, I mean, Yamamoto is not the kind of player that does anything for me right now because we have the kind of the waivers thing shut off. So if you claim somebody on waivers, you can't then turn around and trade him. Look at James Reimer with the 1.47 goals against. Let's go to the next day. If that doesn't come back, we'll go back to Florida and, and see about see about that trade again. Yeah, so they still haven't given us it. We lost both games in New York. So let's go back to uh, the trades. Let's go back to Florida. Let's get Brandon Montour on there and see. Eklund, Kockinen, and Blackwood. All right, I mean, I'm okay doing Kockinen, and I think... Probably not going to re-sign him. You think that they will probably accept this offer. I really would love to get a draft pick as well. Okay, so that... Let me get the Flyers fifth. This might be a straight up deal, but but I'm I'm okay with that. If that's the case, what about a sixth round pick next season? Wow. Okay. So draft picks aren't going to work. What about rights? We got any players who look intriguing? Rodrigo Abels. I don't have any scouting on him at all. Meh. Panthers players or anybody else you're looking to get rid of? I mean, I can take on. I can take on some money, I think. I got Spencer Knight. Hasn't been all that good. Yeah, I mean, like our option in the minors is better than Spencer Knight right now. Um, I think we make this deal straight up and then we try to re-sign Montour right away. I think that's probably the game plan here. So let's go ahead and offer the deal. Let's go back a page. Can I make this work? Consider this trade without anything else, anything else to it. Why can't I finalize it? I don't know why I can't finalize the deal. Let's keep simming ahead. So we're keeping a close eye on the Penguins. It looks like they're playing a little bit better here. <laughs> Excuse me. Nick Bukestad has been waived. Hmm. 2.1, 2.1. He's 31, but there could be some value there. I Really good offensively. I'm going to take Nick Bukestad. I'm going to put in a claim for him. Contract maximum reach. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's see, do we have anybody who I'd be content just getting rid of? A lot of young, decent talent here. I kind of like that. Um, 
Scott Saborin. Can I... I can't buy anybody out. How can I... Hmm... I got 50 players here. I, there's got to be some way. I mean, I guess I can make a two-for-one deal. Oh, I'm not going to have time to do it. Bukestad would be a nice addition to the team, honestly. I mean, if I traded somebody, like just traded somebody for a late round draft pick right now, let's try doing that. Let's try trading somebody for a draft pick just right now. Um, who was this? Saborin. Okay, nobody wants Saborin. What if I do it this way? Let's just go to Colorado. There's got to be somebody that I can get a draft pick for. Like if I just go Avalanche, seventh round pick, it's hardly likely. What about this seventh round pick? It's hardly likely. All right. Um... Can I make this work somehow? Like, why would I have, like, why would I want someone like this? Okay, so you'll take Saborin and Todd for a seventh round pick. But I don't, I still don't think I can put in a waiver claim. Shoot. All right. Well, let's sim the day. I know I want to claim him, but I can't. At Detroit, it's a 4 nothing loss. Yeah, the Red Wings sim. I've, I've simmed a couple of, of uh, other games sort of offline just a couple of months to see how things go. And um, the game loves the Red Wings. Riley Walsh to resume skating. Let's keep going. Ugh, I want Bukestad. Well, can I just can I just trade for him? Where was he? He was with Arizona, right? Let's see. <laughs> Or did he get claimed by somebody? Oh, there he is. Really, you don't see any player that can make this work? I disagree. What if I gave you... Nope, oh, he's got some good physical ratings. What if I gave you... Todd. We would be below the floor cap, so you'd have to get some salary. And well, I mean, I got salary I can give you. I'm not worried about that. Um, I, mean, I give you Nico Sturm. Bukestad is better offensively. Sturm's contract expires at the end of this year. You don't think they will accept that offer? Well, I could have just claimed him off of waivers. That stinks. All right, let's keep going. Nico Ranton in 46 points for Colorado this year. Why have we not gotten an answer from Florida yet? I mean, Montour's not playing, so it's not the end of the world. Here we go. All right. So we are going to send Capo Kakinen to the Florida Panthers, getting a Brandon Montour in return. They place Anthony Stolars on waivers. And I think we're going to go ahead and claim him. We can't because we have our contract limit reached. Ugh. 
All right, so for the time being, we're going to have to call up McAniemi. Let's go to our lines. Nope, wrong team. Dressin, go to our lines. Put McAniemi in as the backup. Go to goalie starts. We're going to go starter, backup, starter, starter, backup, 28th, AI starter, starter, starter. Just want to get some of the game set up here. I was told that this showed up in a on a different screen, and the fact that I never knew it was there, I think, says something. I don't know if it says something about me or if it says something about about the game, but we'll just go to the end of January. So then we'll go starter back up. All right, um, a montour we can put on the injured list right away as well. Uh, so we have twenty two players. Yeah, montour. Um, uh, where is he? That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's just go here and do it this way. Montour, renew contract. So three years at 5.9. Estimated contract quality. All right, so let's go. He's tw let's go four. Will he take four years? What's well, five point nine? Let's give him six in the first year. Six in the first year. Six in the second year. Then five and five. So that'll be a four-year deal worth $22 million. Montour, it's going to be out for a while, but good offensively, really good um, physically, good defensively. So he'll be our, our number one defenseman once he's back healthy. Um, all right, let's see the next day. Yeah, I would have liked to have claimed Stolars, but that's not going to work. Colorado accepts the deal. Oh, so Montour signed the contract. That was easy. Uh, let's complete that trade. That gives us a couple of spots uh, from a, uh, a contract perspective. Waivers. Yeah, there's nobody there. Damn it. Okay. Well, we've got space now in case someone gets put on waivers here at some point. Um, oh, we won. We beat Vegas 3-1. to one. Hurdle, Sturm, and Duclair. We got the start in that Blackwood. Okay. Uh, let's go up to the next game. How long have I been going for? Only 23 minutes. We're good here for a little bit still. I think I'll just keep simming. We'll just keep simming along and you guys can kind of see how things go. And uh, next episode, I think probably will be the, the trade deadline episode. Excuse me. So we'll go like February through the deadline or whatever. Uh, and then I'll probably sim to the end of the regular season because we're obviously not going to make the postseason. So uh, next day, let's see how things go against the Jets. Eight nothing loss, and that I think was the debut of McAniemi. It was he gave up six goals on twenty one shots. Not good, not good at all. Changing of the guard in Pittsburgh. Brady could chuck her hurt. Um, that wasn't good at all. Um, but we'll continue to give, look at James Reimer, 954 save percentage and a 148 goals against Cole Caulfield had three goals and an assist. We got Arizona tomorrow. Sim engine seems to be working a little bit faster this year than it has in past years. 
Pittsburgh down to second to last in the Metropolitan. You like to see that. Got Arizona today. Yotes in fourth place with a winning record. You take them down three to one. Kenzie Blackwood's been pretty good for us this year. Take a look at our lines here in a minute and see if there are any changes we want to make. I don't, I mean, I don't want to make a ton of change. I don't think there's any need to make a ton of changes. We're, we're, we're not good. We're not going to be good. Game's thinking here a little bit. There we go. Uh, Pierre Cedric Labrie signs a contract. Elias Peterson signs a two-year extension with the Canucks. Hoffman, Duclair, and Kyle Burroughs. Cool. So I think leaving it on on leaving the trade difficulty on much harder works. It just means I'm not going to be able to use um, the shot player feature very much because we're going to get this. But what this will do is tell me which teams are potentially interested in them. And I might be able to make some some deals based off of, off of this. So when we get a little bit closer to the deadline, that's something we'll be able to take a look at. So I won't be able to – I'll use the, the let's make a deal offer to sort of figure out – which um, which uh, 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 which teams are interested, and then kind of go from there. I think is probably the plan. Colorado today. Three two loss. So we hang on. We hang on. Was it an overtime loss? It was not. We took a two nothing lead. Granlin and McDonald in the first. They scored three in the second. Blackwood gets the start there. We got Los Angeles coming up. I saw who was on waivers. Brett Hayden. John Hayden. It's a decent defensive forward, but we've got plenty of those. Oh, Jim Montgomery is canned, and Jay Pandolfo, the former BU Terrier, is named the new head coach of the Bruins. Oh, Monty. Unemployed one year after setting a record for wins in a season. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on waivers. Um, it looks like the game is doing a better job of not waving. Um, you know, in previous seasons, you would have all sorts of uh, four-star, five-star type players showing up on waivers, and, and that doesn't seem to be happening. We do have a couple of young players that need to be re-signed, so we'll start with Eklund. Three years at 1.4. I think we're good just meeting that. Um, Robbins. I, I think he's going to be ready next year, right? Yeah, those offensive ratings suggest he's probably going to be ready. Three years at, at, at three years at a million. I'm good with that. Bordalo has been bad with the Barracuda. This is a point a game. Let's renew his contract. He wants 1.4 for three years. I mean, I'm probably fine with that. Um, yeah, I mean, not a ton of great offensive ratings, but we're going to need players next year, right? So I think we let's go ahead and meet. Um, 
LeBlanc is somebody that probably needs to move. Yeah, I mean, we still have a lot of players that 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 need to be moved. Um, but we're not not quite there yet. Makama Doolin. This is Mike Hoffman. It's not where I wanted to go. Yeah, I mean, he needs to be signed, but he's not... Um, auto qualify. All right, let's play this game against the Sharks, or at least sim this game against the Sharks. An injured or Vlasic is hurt. Okay. He's bruised toe day to day, so we'll replace him with Bulldog. And we will continue. Teddy Bluger. Hmm. Good defense. Really good defensive ratings. What's his contract? Well, it's only through this year. Nah, no reason. To, I no reason to claim anybody only has one year left on their contract unless it's somebody I'd be interested in re-signing because I can't trade players that I've just picked up off of waivers. So that doesn't make any sense. Like Bluger would have made sense, and and our our goaltending situation. Um, the young man we've called up has uh not been good. Yeah, he gave up six goals in this one, gave up six in his first game. All right, so Robbins, Bortolo, Eklund all signed their contract. Couture is close to being ready, but those ratings have dropped. And he's $8 million, $7 million, $7 million, $6 million. That's not good. Um, I would like a young goalie. Let's go here and needs and say we need we need a goalie and we need minimum potential of three stars I'll set that as active and I like how it gives you a list of the players that are that are on that list who kind of fall into that that world so to speak is there anybody here that Linus has got two years left on his contract I mean Spencer Knight's not bad we just made a trade with Florida. We just sent them a goalie. Would Florida trade us Spencer Knight? No, they would not. Stolars, not a, again, not a bad option, but contract expires at the end of this year. Although, I don't see any player that will make that work. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, let's sim ahead a little bit. Maybe we just get to the end of December and I call it an episode here. So we made our first trade. Riley Walsh ready for full action. Vlasic is ready to go. So we can take out Bulldog, put in Vlasic. Another game against the Yotes. They beat us four to one. Elias Lindholm is another player that I love. He's somebody I'm desperate for the Bruins to go after. One year left on his contract. Yeah, desperate. Hoping maybe that they wanted to get rid of the contract or something. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I was hoping they wanted to get rid of the contract. Um, so Walsh is day to day. So Montour and Couture will both be back come January. And that's going to, it's going to bolster the team, honestly. Um, yeah. Montour two and a half stars, but 14, 14, 16, 14. Like I'll take that. It's a reasonable contract. He's already the best defenseman we have. And then obviously Couture helps extend uh, our depth here a little bit. So let's get to our next game. So let me know what you think of the Montour deal. Uh, you know, obviously we had him initially scouted at three and a half stars. He wasn't three and a half stars, but, and I think we, we pick up somebody that, um, um, we pick up somebody that, uh, 
uh, we sign long term, who's going to help us? All right, so we can bring Walsh back now. Let's get him on the active roster. Uh, what am I doing? Active roster. And we will bench whom? So McDonald. Yeah, we'll replace McDonald with Riley Walsh. Let's make sure he's on the right side. He is. He's with Ferraro on the top line. Perfect. Uh, all right. Let's play the next day or sim the next game against Vancouver. And we lose four to three. LeBlanc, Granlund, and Granlund again. That's another contract I want to try to move, I think, is Granlund. So there may be a deal made in kind of in that in between while I'm uh um while I'm waiting to to come back at the beginning of February. So there may be uh there may be a January deal made if I can scrounge something up. Um but I have a feeling we're going to be pretty active in February. We got a, a, a number of, of contracts that are in that last in that last year. And at this point, I don't mind calling up some of those younger players. So we got back to back games today. Let's see how this goes. Los Angeles at LA today, and then at home against Edmonton tomorrow. Five two loss to the Kings. Yeah, so things are not going well for us in year one, but that was to be expected. Miko Rantanen having a great year for Colorado. Oh, good. A fractured cheekbone. I would not like to delay his treatment. No reason for him to stay injured. So we're going to replace him for now with Madden. We will put him on the injured list of all the players to get injured. Let's go down to the Barracuda. Now we got to call up a forward, and I think it'll be Barabanov. Actually, I think we replace him with Barabanov and just put Barabanov on that top line for now. All right, game two of this back-to-back -back at home against Edmonton. Oof, 5-2 loss followed by a 6-4 loss. We are bad defensively. And I do think Montour is going to help that. Dry Seidel with the hat trick. Kyle Burroughs with a couple of goals. Granlin with a goal. Hoffman with his 12th. And McAniemi has been absolutely atrocious. 5.99 goals against and an 837. He is not ready for the big time. So we're going to go ahead and send him back down to the Barracuda. And I think, what do we have for free agent goaltenders? Pooley Arvey signed with Arizona. Interesting. Huh. There are no four. There are. I thought for sure there would be. Um, I thought for sure there would be a, a free agent goalie I could sign. There's nobody on waivers. Okay. So. Georgie Romanoff, give him a shot. He looks a little better. Let's see how he does. All right, so we got one more game. It's against Colorado. And we'll take a look at the stats real quick and call it an episode here. And then, yeah, next episode, I'll sim January offline. We'll come back February 1st, and we'll go up through the deadline. So that'll be the next episode, I do believe. No, I'm not interested there. Brandon Montour to resume skating. That's nice. We'll get him back shortly. And I think we get... Yeah, Couture's day-to-day. -day. He'll be back really soon, so that'll that'll help the offense a little bit with Eklund being gone. Right, let's go to our next game at Colorado. So we're 10-21-5. Started the season 2-0, so 8-21-5 in our last, whatever that is, 34 games. See how the month the, the how the game ends or the month ends with Colorado. <clears throat> um, 
Adam Pitlick has been waived. Really bad defensively. Player poll results released. Connor McDavid, Eric Carlson, Liam O'Brien, Connor McDavid, Backstrom, Johansson, Kane, Tony D'Angelo, overrated. I love to see that. Adam Pellick, underrated. I agree. Anzi Kopitar, Shesterkin, and Brenda Moore. I was just curious. If if the game finds him underrated, maybe I can pick him up for peanuts. I don't know. Next day. Christian Dvorak is on waivers. Huh. Oh, not that 5.7 million. Mitchell Stevens, no. All right. If he wasn't making almost $6 million, I would have considered that. So how does the month end? It ends with a 3-1 win or a 2-1 win over the Avs. So I'll take that. I'll take a 2-1 victory as we end this episode. It's going to kick over to January, so it's going to take a second here. We continue to not be good. Not that I expected us to be good in year one, but I like seeing Pittsburgh towards the bottom of the Metropolitan. Uh, development report. Uh, we got a one and a half star guy who gets better, which meh. Um, Bullduck getting a little better. Yeah, then we have some of our veterans that are getting worse. That's fine. Sebastian Ajo. That's who scored for us in this one. Philip Zadina and Granlund. Got the start and goal. Mackenzie Blackwood stopped 32 out of 33. Cool. All right, so statistics. Thomas Hurdle, 29 points in 37 games. A minus 12. Those plus minuses are ugly. Uh, Eklund, his uh, first half ends 20 points in 35 games. Not terrible. 67 game rating. Our game ratings are awful. Uh, Duclair. So the players I'm going to be looking to move. Duclair, Hoffman, Granlund, uh, Kunin. I mean, really all of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Vlasic, if anybody, if I can get a seventh round pick in three years from somebody, I will see if we can do that. Oh, he's got the no trade clause, which sucks. Um, and then Barabanov. So we've got like seven players I'm going to be looking to deal. I don't know how many of them I'm going to trade in January, but it's possible. I'll trade a couple in January and then some in February if I can find deals that are realistic and, and, and worth it. So um, that's going to do it. Oh, goaltending. That's going to do it here, guys. McAniemi has been just it was just absolutely awful. So he went down. And it was a bad month for Blackwood. It's a really bad month for McKenzie. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll go ahead and sim through January. We'll come back on February 1st. And we'll continue on here with year one of the San Jose Sharks. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know you th what you think of my deal for Brandon Montour. Um, the newest addition, an offensive-minded defenseman, but that's something we needed. He's okay defensively, but really good offensively. I mean, really, he's pretty well-balanced, uh, more of an offensive-minded guy than a defensive-minded guy, guy, but scored 73 points a year ago for Florida. So that's kind of where we are. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the support. We'll talk to everybody soon. Bye-bye.